All right, folks, let's take a good look here. We have to see this. I, I mean, I know this is something that's been puzzling my mind a little bit. Okay? And this is something that I know the propaganda from the United States. I know when I see it. And I, I don't know this, this, this obsession. Cause I read, I, I watch, I read, I also watch. I've been reading about, I'm reading on Bleacher Report, ESP and FC, uh, Fox Sports, um, you know, you know, SI, uh, anything, uh, gold.com, gold anything that is coming from the USA media outlets. Let me tell you something right now. I don't know what it is, but there is a very, very strong anti-Mexican sentiment. Anti-Liga MX sentiment. I have no clue why. Now, as someone who does actually watch the Mexican League and supporter of the Chivas, um, I'm going to say this again. I have butter friends who watch this the Mexican League. I don't we don't even think about the MLS. Like like no one really thinks about the MLS. Like no one cares. I hate to break the news to you, but no one cares. And the, but I don't know what's up with, with these MLS uh and their fans and the and the USA and their obsession over Mexico. And the Mexican League. I don't understand your obsession. I don't get it. Okay. Remember in the very beginning when they started to revamp their league, MLS, they started to say, oh, we're going to be, uh, uh, one day we're going to be the best league in the whole wide world. We're going to, and they actually were comparing themselves to either be the future EPL. Because, you know, somewhere in the United States, I, I'm being honest with you, in the United States, when it comes to quote unquote soccer, um, they suck British dick. I mean, these people, they love England. There's like a very, very pro English EPL bias in the United States. It's really obvious. And they try to mimic and, and try to, well, it's still hard to this day, are trying to mimic the EPL. Now, common sense came down to their head. Actually, people started criticizing MLS. As being retirement league, has been a league that was for leftover. It was called the graveyard of football. This is where terms being thrown around when it comes to MLS and MLS clubs. Even to this day, it's still being referred to that. So they kind of like stopped calling themselves the next EPL, and we're gonna one day be just like the English Premier League when that one never happened on planet Earth. That would never happen. That will have to be like 300 years before that might happen. But I'm telling you, it will be like at least 20 generations to that exactly thing will ever happen or be close to it. Because that's not going to happen, period. So MLS started to humble themselves. And like they tried to compare themselves to like, you know, other leagues. But, you know, they started to realize that, you know what, uh, European leagues are just way, way better you know, than us, like, you know, they try to compare themselves to the German League, and, you know, recently with the MLS and their failure to produce talent for the USA national team, they're trying to, quote, unquote, look at the Germans in Bundesliga, and I'm like, yeah, that's Bundesliga, and that's Bundesliga 2. That is nowhere in comparison to MLS. Nowhere. So the last couple of years, there has been this massive obsession of trying to overtake the Mexican league. One day we're going to take, we're going to be so great. We're going to, uh, we're going to beat the Mexican league. We're going to do this. We're going to, we're going to do great guys. We're, you know, one day we're going to, going to win the Concacaf Champions League. And we're going to, we're going to beat the, 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 uh, the Mexican league. And, you know, I'll be honest with you. <clears throat> As you can see here in the corner here, look how many trophies this, this league has won versus the MLS. Well, that's not true. Back in 1996. Okay, 96. Okay, how about this? From the last 20 plus years since the existence of these two leagues. How about that? Uh, you guys won what? Two? Mexico won what? I think what? 18? 19? Trophies? I believe so. I'm not familiar. I, can't, I lost count here. It's a lot of trophies. 
Okay? It's a lot of trophies. And I notice a lot. See, this is the same thing with, with American media. I love this. They are so biased towards Mexico and the and like Mexican League. And I don't know. I saw this one article. I'm not even joking. I'm the link will be down below. It it, it literally said uh uh sit out MLS and shut up and you know and all that crap. And I was like, sit down, and shut up. Like, bro, you you're celebrating a quarterfinals victories. Like you're not even we're not even in the finals yet, yet you're celebrating. And look at this propaganda. And let me they act like they act like they want a trophy. Okay, let me just remind us the people. These the MLS has not won an international trophy since the year 2000. Yet they're going to sit there and say, we're getting really close, guys. The talent level is really close. We're getting so close to, uh, to the Mexican League. We're getting so close. I'm, I'm like thinking myself, why are you guys obsessed over Mexican League? Like, what, are, what is your obsession over Mexico? Like, well, you, you tell me. Tell, please tell me. Because I'll tell you right now, as a guy who cheers for a team in Mexico I have many friends who also have teams in Mexico which you they root for. They're not caring about the MLS. They don't care. But yet y'all are concerned. I see even for such proper I mean, even in the video, man, such propaganda. Oh, it's getting close. I can see the talent right there. It's getting close. Like for example, Landon Dobbins said, Well, I play the at the, the Mexican League. I can tell you right now, the talent's really close. Such propaganda. Such propaganda. Come on, man. And now they're going to have this under-20 Liga, uh, uh, Liga MX team versus the MLS homegrown team. Now they want to have a uh, Campeones Cup uh, uh, between the winner of, um, of um, Mexico and one of their, you know, one of their short seasons versus the MLS. And they want to do a play, a one and one, a two leg playoff, which to me doesn't make any sense. It just doesn't make any sense to me. It, it, it really does. It really doesn't make any sense to me, because I mean, it, it just, it just, I mean, there's no purpose of having that, uh, that. That so-called Campeones Cup, when you have the Kakafa Champions League to determine that already. It's a meaningless match. But yet the MLS is saying, well, we're going to give what the fans want. And the MLS and the, the Mexican League and Liga MS, we're going to form a bond together. And we're going to, please give me a goddamn break. Give me a goddamn break. This is just a joke. It's just a way to make money. And, you know, man, thank God. Look, I'll be honest with you. Thank God the Mexican press down there, like ESPN Deportes and Fox Deportes, and the other channels that I saw, thank God they're calling this shit out as garbage. It is garbage. And to sit there, we're going to make a bomb for North America. Uh, Excuse me, Uh, what about the, the leagues in Central America? Why can't we also raise up the level of play? You felt to real you felt to, to to acknowledge that. And why do you need the winner of the Mexican League versus the winner of the MLS to have a little mini playoff, but yet you have the Champions League to turn out already? Does that make any sense? No, it doesn't. And you keep telling, well, we're getting really close, which is very which is to me pretty pathetic because in 2005. Saprissa won the Concombre Champions League. That's a Costa Rican team. They beat in Monterey. And they also beat in Pumas, which was back-to-back -back champions in Mexico back in 2004, heading to 2005 when they won, when they had the, cup, the uh, Champions Cup at the time. They won. You don't hear no one referencing that. You don't ever hear some Costa Rican leagues on the rise. What about the one back in, was it, I believe 2014? Or 13, I'm not familiar. 13 or 14. They when basically Club America went through the, the Champions League and they were one of the very few. No, they were the last Mexican League team to win 
let mess sorry one of the last Mexican League teams to be alive and they won the whole thing. Do you talk about that? No. Oh my god, they swept they swept them at home. Oh my god. Oh my god. I mean, are you serious? What the hell's wrong with y'all MLS people? What the hell y'all is wrong with Americans, man? This is the semifinals, bro. What is wrong with y'all? That is like, for example, the French, the French league going crazy that, oh my god, two teams from the French league are in the final four. I don't think they care. What matters is winning the trophy. Now, they could win it. That's fine by me. Let's say they win it this year. How about that? MLS wins 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 this wins the Cup of Champions League. What does that mean? It means what? It means you won a trophy. Now you're gonna sit there and say, well, we're better than the ML, we're better than the Mexican League. Look, we won a trophy versus how many times they won. Come on, man. This is just it it, it is so unbelievable. It, it it really, really is. It it really it, it it just it boggles the mind when I hear people when I hear stuff like this. It it really, really does. And that's the thing about some of these people. They don't want to hear this stuff. I mean, it's so, it's just so pathetic. And they want to be so inclusive in all this other crap that we're going to be on the rise. We're on the rise. Look at the young talent that we have. Bro, it's the MLS. No one cares. No one, stop with your propaganda. I see it all the time on the, on YouTube. This propaganda, MLS is on the rise. It's on the rise. That's not true. Because the rain says it all. But look at the attendance. That's because you got better stadiums than, let's say, MLB and NHL teams. That's the problem. And, and by the way, I've met plenty of Americans that don't even watch the MLS because the league is very poor when it comes to play. And I met some rational MLS fans that actually understand that, you know what, we're kind of miles away from the league, the Mexican League. What I really believe what's really going on here is that the MLS is pushing this propaganda because they don't want to admit that they effed up the USC national team. Because due to the fact that USC national team was an utter failure in this past World Cup cycle, they want to cover their butts by saying, we can beat the Mexican League. Okay, let's say you beat the Mexican League. Does that mean that the national team do any better? No, it won't. The MLS is directly responsible for producing American players to the national team, which they fail. That's the reason why they're going to attack you uh, with this anti-Mexican sentiment. Please give me a goddamn break. And what's comical about this is that most Mexican fans want to play Copa Libertadores. They want to play Copa Sud America. They don't care about the Copa Champions League. Because with the Copa Libertadores and Sud America, that's actual competition between actual teams, especially from Argentina and Brazil. That's how you better your play. MLS doesn't get that. If, they, if MLS really wants to quote-unquote close the gap, why won't they go to Argentina and play the clubs down there? Why won't you go to Brazil and play? You won't do that because you're going to get murdered. You're gonna get crushed. Go to the book. Go play Boca. Go play River Plate. Go play uh, Flamingo. Go play Santos. Go play those Palmeiras, Sao Paulo. Go play those people. Go play Atlético Nacional in Colombia. Go play them. You're not gonna do it because you know what? You're gonna get crushed. Oh wow! Whoopie do! You beat uh, uh, the first time you beat these uh, the Mexican teams in Mexico. What year? Twenty eight, two thousand eighteen. Final? I mean, seriously? This is unbelievable. All of this is because the fact is MLS does not want to take the blame and the brunt of the failed the USA national team. That's why they're covering their asses up right now. That's it's unbelievable, bro. The, the, the level of propaganda coming from MLS is unbelievable. It's unbelievable.